What is up everyone? My name is Cargo. Welcome back to our Calamity Rogue series. We're on episode 28 and today is going to be jam friggin packed of exciting things. So we need to go take on Providence for another time so that we can get enough geodes to make Yule Bloom armor. Once we get Yule Bloom armor, I'm going to continue to take on the next two bosses, which is the Ceaseless Void and the Stormweaver. I don't know if I'm going to be farming them out today. I might farm them out off recording, but there's, these two bosses are going down today. While I can make uh, Yuli Bloom though, I don't want to limit myself. So what I need is I'm going to need my uh, my mounts. I don't. I have not checked if I have the potions that I need. Oh, we got plenty of potions. Let's go ahead and get our slimy mount. And we're going to head down into hell or the underworld so that we can go deal with Providence. Do we have our profane core? Does not look like it. That is my mistake. Um, I'm super excited for this episode. I uh, personally, I've been thinking about it for a, for all day. I'll, I didn't actually so that yes yesterday's episode, even though it went up on Monday, I actually recorded it on Sunday. So I didn't get to play this at all yesterday, and I was missing it. I really was. I wanted to uh, I wanted to hang out with you guys. I wanted to catch up, play some games. Oh, also, uh, let me ooh, ooh, ooh. let me stack these away. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live stream. Uh, we go live on Twitch Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And um, we got a visit from Dini Dini, which is just so crazy. Um, so, I mean, I can't... You can kind of see the set, but this this is this is the set, the patron set. Pretty epic. Love it, love it, love it. We got bread wings for days, bread wings for life. Um, actually, oh, I forgot about this. Guys, I did not know this. Guys and girls, I don't want to be inclusive, you know? I didn't know the normality relocator was even a thing. Had no idea. I am going to go make this update. I know we've been bouncing back and forth through this episode already, and it's been like, what, a minute? But uh, we need this. Normality relocator. What am I missing? I only have three cinder plates. Okay, well, I need more. That's really easy to get. It's right in the core. Which, um, I was surprised by. We we just made this in our summoner playthrough. And I didn't have a, uh, any cinder plates. I was very confused of why I didn't have any cinder plates. It was, like, completely empty in the middle of my star. Which I'd never realized before. Alright. I'm not gonna farm all of this because I don't need that much. Bada boom, bada bang. Normality, normality, relocator, kind of baba. I am so excited for this weapon. Or this, uh... For this item it is just so good and now i can teleport freely <gasps> oh shoot it's uh i didn't realize this the same button we used for the other thing booster dash what can i put this to z i guess i'm never gonna hit that i'm never gonna use the booster <laughs> oh well but yeah who doesn't like using the rod of discord on a hockey also, guys, if you have noticed, I am currently on the left side of the screen. But it is freaking weird, right? I don't want to do the wall flash. Perfect. Um, I know it's trippy, but I uh, I really wanted to see how this worked out because it actually looked pretty good in the last episode. So I'm just gonna use it. You know? Wow, this weapon is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fight Providence, and I'll be right back once we get more divine geodes. So you guys will see me in just a little bit. I, I just, we've seen this fight a lot already. I don't want to overdo it, you know? Oh my gosh, dude. Woo! We finally did it. And we got the Elysian Aegis. Look at that. We finally did it. Oh my gosh. I was taking so much damage. That was, I think, my fourth attempt. And we only got 25 Divine Geodes. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna do it. I'm. A <laughs> All right. So grants. So it grants a supreme holy dash, 40 max life, and increased life regen. Grants immunity fire blocks, knockback, and holy flames, which is absolute bars. Which is gonna be an upgrade to our Aegis. And then, uh, actually, let me see what this makes. I want to show you guys. So we got as guardian Aegis. We just need Cosmolite, and that's the. Let's drop from. Is it? DOG that chops it? I don't honestly remember. But this is pretty great. I kind of want to compare the two dashes real quick. So let's get up here so we don't do it. 
It feels the same. Oh, it's a little bit shorter. Oh wow, so better better dash, pretty sick. We can um, put away these geodes real quick and super healing potions. I'm gonna sell the other stuff so that we can get some good old gold because it sells for so much gold. So nice. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about the le being me, me being on the left side. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it. Do you guys prefer it in the left side? Prefer it in the right side? Prefer left side on the only during the bosses like how we've been doing? I have no idea. All right, we're gonna make tarragon armor now. Oh my gosh, I'm hyped. We should have enough. So we're gonna craft the chest piece, and then we're gonna craft the helmet, which we gotta make sure. So this is the 10% increase rogue damage. Boom, nailed it. And then the legs. Oh my gosh, we were able to make everything. And the wings. Cause 15 defense, that's gonna be pretty bomb. So wait, hang on, let me compare the two. 104 defense with 613 damage. Then we have 117 defense with 601 damage. I'm pretty sure that's like 10 less damage. Oh, 601, right? Was the other one? Yeah, 12 less damage. That's all right. 12 less damage, not a big deal. So let's take a look at the set bonus. Reduces enemy spawn rates, fantastic. Increases heart pickup range, awesome. Enemies have a chance to drop extra hearts on death, also sick. After every 25 rogue critical hits, you will gain five seconds of damage immunity. This effect can only occur once every 30 seconds. While under the effects of a debuff, you gain increased 10% rogue damage. Rogue stealth builds while not attack. Oh, yeah, this is the rogue stuff. Interesting. All right. Um, I'm wondering, because Luxor's gift, does it help that much? Is there another accessory that we need that we could make that would be better than this, than Luxor's gift? Um, we might do a little bit of research, but that being said, let's go ahead and give a nice solid try on the Ceaseless Void. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I'm just going to use these planetoids and just kind of hover around these bad boys. Because I don't know if we can fight Ceaseless Void outside of her of the biome. I don't know what it looks like to do that. So let's take a Gander. Oh, Jeepers. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know why we can't damage her sometimes. I don't know why we can damage her at times. Or Storm Reaver, whatever it is. We're doing like negative damage here. Why, why was I doing damage beforehand? Am I too far over? Am I not in space or something? What just happened? Stormweaver has awoken? I am so confused. Oh my gosh. Dude, chill. Oh! I have I have, I have no idea what just happened. I'm I'm seriously stunned this entire fight. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm not often speechless after a fight, you know? I'm like, "Okay, I learned this and now we can go deal with that." Um that is not the case. I feel like I learned absolutely nothing. I feel like I I know there's a second phase, but I don't know what caused it. Did I get down to a certain percentage? How did I how did I attack it in the first place? What is going on? 
Did, was I able to bring it out of the biome? Because I have no idea what just happened. So we're gonna we're gonna place this. And just uh, see if this works better for us. Oh, I'm getting a call. Not from some anyone important. Okay, so uh, me and my wife, you know, we, we, we don't have internet. I talk about this every video now. I feel like I do at least. Wow. Um, but my, my wife had the brilliant idea of like, why don't we just get one month of another provider so that we can have internet while we're waiting. And it should be like only like 25 or like 30 bucks to get like a basic package. I'm like, that's freaking epic. That is so smart. So we go to CenturyLink, which is the only other provider in our, in our area. And I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to find a package through their online and they're forcing me to buy their new modem. I'm like, I already have a CenturyLink modem and it's pretty new. Like I, I bought it like seven months ago. There is no reason as to why I should buy another one. Like I, I should just use the old one, but there's no, there's no option for that of like, I already have a modem. So I try to get on support. Support's helping me out. The guy is fantastic. The guy's answering every question, doing the best that he can. I'm like, perfect. Can we get this set up today? And he was like, absolutely. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna have internet today. Like I might actually be able to enjoy my home like with internet. Obviously I enjoy it without internet, but still. But yeah, so anyhow, um, struggling and finally we get it. And he goes, yeah, perfect. So everything's all set. You just have activation on the 12th of September. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. hang on. Roll that back. The 12th of September? He's like, yeah, that's when you get activated. I'm like, well, you said we can get it set up today. He was like, well, I could get you all the account and whatnot today. But like, yeah, you got to wait until the activation. Which I just, I do not understand. It, the, the ISPs, the internet service providers. You gotta be absolutely friggin' kidding me to think that I'm gonna wait until September 12th. And I was like, well, I mean, to be in all honesty, the reason why I... I'm doing CenturyLink for only a month is because like I like Cox hasn't set my internet up yet and he's like yeah I totally understand that and I'm like I I I got I need internet like I can't have you oh see he just does random damage I don't know what's happening how did I just chunk half of it or a quarter of it okay either way I need internet you know I, I I'm not gonna wait until the 12th of September to get my get my internet and he was like okay what would you like me to do and I was like well can you see if you can get it sooner he's like well I guess and so I tried to get like approval to get it sooner and he's like sorry I wasn't able to get approval and I was like what do you mean approval who is telling you to not activate my internet because I want to speak with him I need to speak with a guy who's not giving me my internet because is it just like an unspoken thing that internet service has to do now? They just have like stupid long approval times? Because I'm... It used to be like same day setup, right? That's not just me. I don't know. Anyhow, so we don't, we still have internet. That's the moral of the story. Okay, so it looks like I'm at almost a third, and he's, it's doing like weird times where I'm like, there's more damage than I'm doing. Maybe I have to kill these things? To activate it? How do you activate it, sir? Okay, so that doesn't take damage. Maybe it's killing the little guys does damage? Because there's no way that I'm doing damage right now. I want to wait my keep my gel in until he gets into that second phase. You know, I guess I could have used it twice by now, probably. I was literally just about to click it because I knew I was gonna get hit there, and I just missed my opportunity. Oh, okay, see, he's awoken. I don't know what this means. Gosh, that is terrifying. Woo, 
I barely dodged that. Okay, that's like 600 IQ. Uh, did you guys see what I just did? I'm ki I'm king slime mount it or I'm slime mount and then I jump. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. I can't even see him though. We just did so much damage there. Okay, this fight is going really well. I'm gonna go ahead and settle down. Make sure I don't de clutch. Oh, dang it, almost had freaking. I fell down. Oh, he's. Oh, I barely beat it. Woo! I can't believe I fell down right there. Okay, that's where we get the armored shell. I thought. Wait, I thought the ceases. Wait, hang on. Hold up. That was a storm weaver. I thought that was a ceases void. Oh, it's in the dungeon. I thought. The <laughs> that's funny. I thought the void was uh, the other one. All right, armored shell. What do you make us? You make armor, but that's for mage. We don't need that yet. We got a deific thunderbolt. Holy moly. What is the Stormfront Razor from? A cinqueta? A cinqueta? How do you make the cinqueta? Uh oh. What is the cinqueta draw from? Ah, oh, nuts. Well, okay, so this thing makes the deific thunderbolt. Oh, wait. I can make that right now. This thing does 1700 damage. I'm gonna fight this one more time. Cause that was an easy fight. And then I'm gonna go try to make this weapon. What the heck? I figured it out. I figured out what does the, all the damage. I figured out it's his butt. His butt takes all the damage. It's <laughs> when you hit the when you hit behind him. It, that's what does the damage. We just cranked the first stage of this. Oh, I got the storm. What is this? Wait, did it drop a weapon before? And I miss it? Did I miss any loot down here? Hang on. All right. Well, yeah. So we got it. We got more armored shells. We're gonna work on making this thing. I gotta figure out what makes the Stormfront Razor. What is the Cinqueta? Do I have a Cinqueta? Watch me like not look for it, and then I actually have it. Let's let's take it again. Let's not make this mistake again, because I have definitely. No, I don't have it. All right. Maybe. Oh, what if the Bandit drops it or sells it? Come on, be lucky here, and sell the Cinqueta. I know you want to. I don't think you are. I didn't even have to look on the wiki. I didn't even have to look on the wiki. I'm 600 IQ. I can do the most basic thing. Frick yeah. <laughs> We're learning. It's all because of you guys. You guys help me so much. Okay, day. Storm. No, no, no. Storm Razor. Oh, what am I missing? I have no hallowed bars. Okay, let me just buy six hallowed bars. I was gonna go fight something, but might as well just buy six of them. Because I've got. Oh, I only have 16 plat? I thought we had like 40 plat. I only bought five bars because I'm a fool. Look at that. You're telling me I got like 6,000 IQ. And then I do something like this. I can't, I can't believe I've done this. I really want to reforge all of my accessories to warding. But. That also costs a lot of money. Gosh, that hurts so bad. Not having wording is literally going to make me cry. Alright, finally we can make this Storm Razor. Perfect. And now we use the Storm Razor to make 
that one thing called this guy, Deific Thunderbolts. Please don't tell me I need, oh man, I can actually make this? Holy moly, what on earth? looks pretty cool <laughs> it, uh, it looks pretty sweet does it pierce it goes through walls but it doesn't pierce enemies but it goes through walls Wowzers! this looks absolutely incredible let's head over into the jingle no the dungeon that's the final answer we're gonna go head over to the dungeon and fight the final boss but before we do that I'm gonna buy a send potion from wherever our brewer is at gonna buy a zen because I really don't want to deal with the enemies that are in the dungeon perfect did I did I ever welcome you guys in did I ever say hi how you doing cuz uh hi how you doing you guys are you guys are pretty awesome oh no don't do it don't die oh we barely did it it's cuz we don't have the plague hive yeah so I hope you're all doing well I'm doing pretty well myself I was feeling a little sick today, um, but I, I got an emergency. Guys, if you don't know what emergencies are, you need to be using it because it really is. It's one of like the best things that helps me. Just loads of vitamin C, load you up. Okay, I'm gonna need to get rid of these spikes here. What I what I like to do, because you know, emergency doesn't always taste the best. You know, you put in a little thing of water, it kind of tastes uh, a little gross, or can at least. What I like doing is I like getting an orange Gatorade. Ooh. Then you put that orange emergency and that orange Gatorade straight. Okay, I can't. Even, I can't even. I can't move. Straight tasty goodness. Let me tell you, it's so good. Um, that's what I've got next to me right now. Here, I'm up, and it's pretty great. All right, while our bus are still here. Oh man, I've got no clue. Am I supposed to hit the ball like the little floaty guys? Or what am I hitting here? Okay. What? I'm gonna go make an arena down there. You guys, I'll be back, okay? All right, so I've finished the arena. Um, pretty happy with it. I filled in all the gaps with fake walls and whatnot. And then I also, I added some platforms, gave some peace candles and some campfires and everything looks pretty spot on. I am just now realizing this. I'm gonna patch this up. So I would absolutely hate it if I got stuck in here and then took like a bunch of damage. That'd be so sad, you know? But yeah, so I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped. Ooh, another block. Look at that. And I see this one right here. <gasps> There's another one. Oh, that was a shelf. Yeah, I didn't clean up the shelves or anything, but I try I think I got all the blocks. And then I have this chest here. And then this chest up here. Don't worry about them. I'm not worried about it. We're gonna buff up. I'm pretty sure that's the last of our buffs. Or at least I might have to rebuff some. Like restock them. But uh this is the last one, the ceaseless void. Do you guys think we can do it? Do you think we can finally be able to kill this thing? Why can I, why can I activate this? Am I not in the, I was in the dungeon? Excuse me? I was uh, most certainly in the dungeon. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, this arena, a lot clearer, a lot better. Just overall, 1000 IQ. Very happy with this. So I did not look up anything on this boss fight. I have no idea what's going on. Nor do I understand why of their lack of damage of what's happening. I have absolutely no clue as to why we're not doing damage. But that's okay, right? Is that a hundred percent? What is what is going on? I like this fight, but the thing is about like this fight, I don't 
I like the aesthetic of it. I like the purple like spheres. I like the music. Everything is great. I like that it's in the dungeon. What I don't like about it is that I don't know what's going on. It's not easy to tell. And I'm sure like once you like play it like a billion times, you're gonna be like, oh, I know this fight so well. But I literally have no idea. I'm just doing what I would normally do for every single fight, and that's just run. And throw stuff behind me. Okay, I'm assuming don't get hit by these orbs. Oh, well, I just missed that. What is happening? What? See, that's what I don't understand. What just happened? That maybe took that take that much damage. And why do spheres keep like re-enabling? Is it because I'm going outside the biome or something? And I'm like doing something that's wrong? So whatever's happening is not okay. Oh, I don't have the right. I don't have the right mount on. What am I supposed to be hitting? Oh my gosh, yeah, I really don't get hit by the orbs. orbs. And as I get hit by more orbs. It is at like 0% HP. What am I doing wrong? Oh, we did it. Great. I have no idea what we just did. But hey, it's done, right? That's what matters. Did we pick up everything? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's that. Boom. And we got two dark plasma. That's it. Each represent one of the devourer's largest spheres of influence. Dispatching them most likely invoking its anger and marked you as the target for destruction. Oh. Oh, is that the DOG? Okay. That's absolutely terrifying. Did I... I didn't get a treasure bag, right? I just got the, the dark plasma, which makes the ceaseless void, which is apparently absolutely useless. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna wait to make it. I know it makes a better weapon, but that weapon isn't for quite some time, and I would rather not fight that again. But hey, we did everything that we needed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. We absolutely killed it. Do you know what else is killing it? You guys. You guys are doing absolutely amazing amazing with the support in this channel i mean i talk about it all the time but we're almost at 5,000 subscribers on the youtube channel absolutely maddening thank you guys so much for being here i know a lot of you don't stay here to the end of the video but for those of you who do just know this you're freaking sweet that's gonna do it for the end of the episode i'm gonna stop ranting on i will see you all in the next one i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day bye